Police on both sides of the lake are investigating separate stabbings within the community. One turned deadly at a Burlington pizzeria. Police do not have a suspect. But we are learning more about what happened in the Queen City and the man who police say was killed. ABC 22's Isabel Shoneman has an update tonight live from the newsroom. Lauren, just after 3 a.m. on Sunday morning, police responded to Paisano's restaurant on Main Street. They found 23-year-old Abubakar Sharif stabbed, and he later died at the UVM Medical Center. Outside Paisano's restaurant on Main Street, a tribute to Abubakar Sharif. Candles and messages for a man known to many as Boosie. He's the city's fifth homicide victim in 2022. Those are absolutely ahistorical numbers. I don't know that Burlington has ever seen five homicides in a single year. The Burlington Police Department responded to Paisano's restaurant at 3.08 a.m. after calls of a reported fight and assault. Police found Sharif stabbed, bleeding heavily inside the restaurant. They gave him first aid and an ambulance took Sharif to the UVM Medical Center. Despite those efforts, he died at the hospital. Acting Chief Murad notes the fight started inside Paisano's and by the time police got there, the suspect had left the scene. Detectives are working to identify people involved in the fight and the person who had the knife. We are looking for the assistance of the public. Anyone who was there that night, including participants in this altercation, is urged to come forward. This latest case comes at a time when BPD is understaffed and looking to get more officers on the streets. The acting chief says that will make a difference. There is study after study that demonstrates that mere police presence does in fact diminish crime. And to contradict those studies, uh, particularly a pronounced desire over the past two years, it has been proven completely wrong. Everything that we are seeing is indicative of the fact that police presence does in fact affect people's behavior, particularly criminal behavior. Murad notes these types of crimes aren't happening in the downtown area during the day. The more people who embrace our city and recognize that it is a safe and, and a vibrant city, the more safe and vibrant it will be. Acting Chief Murad noted 80% of the 25 gunfire incidents in Burlington have been solved so far. This is the fifth homicide. The previous four have been solved. Live in the newsroom, Isabel Shoneman, ABC 22 News.